briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1983, the Colorado Court of Appeals heard the case of Sanders v. Knapp, which centered on the concept that if a seller cannot convey everything they contracted to sell, but still has some ownership, the buyer can force them to sell that ownership. Plaintiff Ronald Sanders had entered into a contract to purchase a condominium from Robert and Barbara Knapp, facilitated by the Romero Corporation. Although Sanders completed all requirements of the contract and tendered the purchase price, he was denied specific performance due to a mutual mistake about the property's ownership. Consequently, Sanders filed a lawsuit requesting specific performance and a declaration of tenancy in common with Barbara. The court found the contract enforceable to the extent of Robert's interest and ordered specific performance with an abatement of half the contract price. It was revealed that Robert jointly owned the property with his estranged wife when a duplicate set of closing papers were sent after the initial set wasn't received by Robert. The appellate court reversed the judgment denying specific performance and awarding damages while affirming the denial of exemplary damages. The case was subsequently remanded for further proceedings according to the ruling. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law, elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.